So, how easy is it to get started with W Linux? Let's find out. So, find it here on the Microsoft Store. I already purchased it. Awesome. Can install it. Well, that's downloading the very small download size. Let's go over to their GitHub. Look at the features. It's a fast Linux terminal and development environment for developers and pro users built on Windows subsystem for Linux, on Windows 10. Out of the box support for most Linux graphical apps with no need to configure. And it says requires a Windows based X client such as X410. Huh, what's that? That does. Popular development tools such as all that business. Additional packages can be easily installed. Apt package management. Uh, it's just normal, basic kind of stuff. Thing I haven't messed with yet was this. So let's open the tab for that. System D removed. That's a big one. And we got scripts to do stuff. So let's mess with some scripts. Start up that. Let that do its business. Cool. Okay, now we're in speed. So, it says you can install all Google Chrome. Uh, why not? I don't know, why would you want to install Google Chrome? No, no, I'm not a developer. I'm a tinkerer. I like tinkering with crap that probably I shouldn't tinker with. But, yeah, I mean, I kind of know what I'm doing. So what can you do with this? Windows Subsystem for Linux Utilities. So it's a shortcut to create. Okay, it makes it a shortcut on your desktop. It will print out basic system information. It will screenshot... Path convert. It's a fake browser. I'm going to have to mess with those. I don't know what any of that means. So, we got Chrome installed. How, how, do, you, how do you start it? What's, it? what's it actually called? What, what, are, what are they calling it here? Google Chrome? Okay. Why are you popping up and telling me a thing? What do you think that means? Oh, okay. I'm able to get session bus, a node or unsupported transport. Okay, that didn't work. Um, let's see if Visual Studio Code works. And there's Visual, okay, Visual Studio Code worked. And that really worked. And there it is. Work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we got that. So what's all this? Yeah. that do? Oh, that does one of those. Those are cool.
This is one thing I want to figure out how to get going. I have image optimization scripts that I used on Arch or Manjaro Linux. Let's see if I can figure out how to get them working here. Should be easy enough. Just got to find those packages. You look exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's yeah, it's the, it's the gem. Um, let me just. That might just be better. Okay, so that installed. It says you might also want to install. That's one down. Okay, and we're back because I got images that we could test the compression with. So let's copy this. Home. This isn't home. This is not my home. Okay, that should be closed now. There, I'll just close it that way. There's image compression test. So. And now, uh, oh yeah. Just copy that. That's why I made it. Cool, so that's going. My fan is currently off and I'm limiting my CPU to nine watts, but that is definitely going. So that was just a really quick kind of unstructured look at W Linux. Hope you enjoyed it and bye.